like comment and subscribe let's go new hankai trailer for acheron can't wait um kind of hard to avoid spoilers on this one but i think i did it i don't think i spoiled too much i just thought that it looks cool like the art style and stuff like that but yeah let's have a look Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. To save the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the Twelve Sentinels. The first was Truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The second was Sky, forged by the Eternal Zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. The third was Howl, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down divine punishment. The fourth was Mist, able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. The fifth was Frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was Fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Then there was flare, thought, root, form, bind, maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation, winning victory after victory. Until all of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was Origin. The second was End. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything, more for the destruction of two worlds. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into the I knew this world was fleeting. And yet... And yet... Cool, okay. There was like, so much going on. ...and forged them in the past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here. They wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. To save the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the Twelve Sentinels. Okay, so there was like this whole civilization. Forged by the sky. 
And then they created these blades, yeah. The land of fate. Then there was flare thought mock on tomorrow's expectation. Until all of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so he okay. splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was origin. The second was end. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumo. Okay, so origin against the end, one versus 70,000, okay. So when Origin kill end, they kill each other, basically. Do you still remember why Isumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward, one that we can never walk. Now this, this is where I'm confused. I don't know what, what they're talking about. Until the last blade is forged into the Okay, so this is now the life, the not played, I guess. Okay, turned wild, lost the horns. Is that like... Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. So I'm guessing that was like the end of the world, right? Because after like, killed end. As origin. Each step forward one that we can never Okay, origin broke. Not. I'm guessing these are the like the memories of the past, like with all the blades. So maybe all the twelve blades now encompass this one life one. That like surround this world basically or like this is like maybe the power source or something But like who is she like how long ago was this like what's going on but and again i saw like on twitter about the um how like if you know okay in fact third then you're gonna realize whoa all of these things like i don't know what's going on and it's weird because shaoji in the live stream said that if you don't know honkai impact third it's not gonna like they're gonna find ways of telling the story without you having to know that but this doesn't feel like that I just feel like I don't really know what's going on, and I didn't really learn much about Akira either, I feel like. I don't know. A cleave across the transient world. Is there anything in the... Okay. And the episode is dead, souls grew restless. And the black sun. Two plates were forged as bearers of the rest. Okay. Okay, so end, return to the void, and then origin. 
became the Nought Blade, right? The Life Blade. Uh, for those who hold the power of Kami are walking backwards towards divinity. So she just So she's a god or not yet? So that means that she's not an emanator either. She's a a kami or like But right, ain't no way like she's gonna do something. Like she's gonna find the watchmaker's legacy and then whatever that is, right? Is gonna make her into an eon. Oh my god. There's no way Akron like becomes an eon, right? I don't know. That's what I got from this. Um I'm gonna have to cook on this a little bit more, see what I can find out. But yeah, for now, good trailer as always. Nothing too crazy. Like, comment, and subscribe. And follow the stream if you're here. But yeah. Cool. Peace.